guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use workflows and automations together to help automate your website even while you're sleeping. But before I get started, I do wanna mention that we are on the road to our first 5,000 subscribers. So if you are new around here or you've been around for a while, I really wanna challenge you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really would help out a lot. But now let's get back to the tutorial. So in today's video, we're going to be mainly focusing on workflows. In my last video, we covered automations. I highly suggest you go watch that video before you actually watch this one. The link will be in the description below. So if you're on your dashboard and come down to CRM tools, you're going to see an option for workflows. If you do not have one currently set up, what you can do is come over to new and create a new workflow. As you can see, there are a bunch of different ones that you can choose from, or you can just start from scratch. For this one, let's just start from scratch. The first thing you'll notice is I added a few steps already for you, and it also is going to allow you to change the name. And the first thing you really have to think about is what you want this workflow to actually do. For this example, let's say a user fills out the subscriber form. And maybe we want to set up a workflow so that they get monthly emails. Let's go ahead and name this one subscriber newsletter. Okay, and since we started from scratch, you're going to notice it gave us a step called to do and in progress. However, we do not need these steps, so we can easily just press the three dots and delete them. Next thing we can do is go ahead and press add step. For this one, let's call it month one. So now that we have month one, let's go ahead and add another step for month two. And you can do this for as many months as you want to send them consecutive emails. So for this example, let's just do three months. The next thing we want to do is add automations to these steps so they're automatically sending newsletters to our subscribers. So what we can do is come over to month one, press the three dots and press create automation. And now it's going to give us the automation template. So for this one, let's just name it month one. And now let's set up a trigger. So when a user fills out a form, we want it to be a specific form and we want it to be the subscription form then we want something to happen. Now let's go ahead and set up our automation. The first thing that I want to do is go ahead and move the card into our subscriber newsletter workflow and we want it to be month one. And for timing, we want it to trigger immediately. The next thing I want to do is add a follow-up action. Now, if you do not have a paid ascend plan, then you will not be able to add a second follow-up action. Again, I covered that in our last tutorial on automation, so I highly suggest you go check that out first. But since we have the paid ascend plan, we can go ahead and go to step two, and I want to send this user an email. So I'm gonna go ahead and press send email to contact. Then we can go ahead and press edit template to create our first month newsletter to send to our contact. And then below that, I want to make sure that this sends immediately as well. And the last thing I want to do is add a third follow-up action. For this one, I want to move it to a card, subscriber newsletter, but now I want to move to month two. And instead of triggering this immediately, I want to schedule this one for 30 days. So basically what this automation is saying is that when a user subscribes to our website, they'll create a card and move it into month one in our workflow, then that user will also receive an email for the first month. And then after 30 days, their card and the workflow will move to month two. And let's go ahead and press activate. So now that we have that done, now we can move over to month two. So same steps, we're gonna press those three dots and press create automation. For this one, let's name it month two. And we're gonna say workflows. When the card is added to month two, then this contact will receive an email. And of course, now you wanna set up your second month template for the newsletter, and you wanna send this immediately as soon as they have been added to the card. Again, after month one, it takes them 30 days to be moved to month two. So you don't wanna schedule more time here because that would kind of be unnecessary. So we're just gonna leave it at immediately trigger. And then last, we wanna add a second step. We're gonna move this card into month three after 30 days. Press activate. So now we have it when a user subscribes to our website, they get added to month one. They get the initial month one email and after 30 days, they move to month two. 
Then once they get added to month two, they receive their email. And then after 30 days, they're gonna be moved to month three. This is how you use automations and workflows to help automate your website even while you're asleep. But that's basically it for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider pressing that like button and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next one.